Okay, guys, I'm back. Ready for another hour? Let's play for another hour, see how far we get. Seems like we're still unlocking stuff, right? Okay. Excuse me. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> yes, let's continue. All right. All right. Okay, guys. So we have two quick things to do right near us, which we should do. And then once we do these, then we should go maybe advance the plot more, because apparently there's a new kind of content that will open up once we do this next thing. Menacing men. They're very menacing. Look at them. Incredibly menacing. How do you like this? Hungry, hungry, homeless. That's that's kind of messed up. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Hungry, hungry, homeless? Uh, I don't know if it's that funny to be joking about the poor homeless being hungry, honestly, right? Alright, we've got another rescue. Look who it is. Hey, Hamako-san. From the Flash game. Well, if it isn't Psycho. How's business? Breaking in the cash, on? My club's doing okay. What about your place? Now, if you're doing okay, then we must be more or less the same. Eh, not much to do during slow hours, you know. Anyway, I see you brought an unfamiliar face with you. I've only recently arrived in town. My name is Taichi Suzuki. Oh, God, I keep forgetting he's using that name. <laughs> Come on, now. What's with the fake name? Huh? Uh, what fake name? <laughs> <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. That awkward introduction of yours made it so obvious. Was it really that awkward? Yes. Maybe it's better if we just cut the bullshit with her. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Everyone's already in the know about your alias. Fine, then. I'll play along. Tai Chi Suzuki-san, was it? <laughs> I guess there's no fooling you, Hamako-san. <laughs> Don't take it too hard, sweetheart. Stay in business long enough in this town, and you'll end up just like me. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing. This is Hamako-san. She's been in Ijincho longer than I have. She's like the underboss of this town. Or, perhaps more aptly, a ghost haunting it. <laughs> hmm. So what's the story? You girls dump Ichiban for a new man? Suzuki-san here helped me and Kasuga out of a bind. He's even more notorious than I am in the underground. Careful not to show disrespect, lest you embarrass yourself. I can't pay attention to the conversation because the music's so good. Keep up that talk and I'd be the one disrespecting Hamako-san. Oh, looks like we have a real gentleman here. You treat all the ladies this way? And how do you know Ichiban? How should I put this? Uh, the two of us used to work for the same company. Although we never met back then. Ichiban really respects Suzuki-san. Oh, right, the two of them were in Hawaii until recently, too. Huh. You guys must be real close if you went on vacation together. All right then, Suzuki-san. Why don't you stay a while? Have some tea with me. A guilty conscience? Memoirs of a dragon. This is different. Just you and me? Huh. What? I'm not gonna eat you up or anything. Oh, are you too busy to have one cup of tea with an old hag like me? Yeah, this is completely different than what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like a conversation. No, it's an actual full-on side mission. Okay. All right. Let's have that cup of tea. Now <laughs> we're talking. Head on upstairs. I'll get everything ready. What kind of tea did they drink in Japan? I'm curious. I don't know. Hmm. This is Xbox Series X that I'm playing this on. Didn't think she'd invite me alone for tea. We just met, so what does she even have is to tell me? your shop? Sure is. On the outside, we're an eating house. Normally, you'd be serviced by some girls. But if you're looking for that kind of special treatment, come back another time. Of course, I'll have to charge you for that. <laughs> no, I'm fine. We're what society would call a shady business. Remember that politician, Rio Aoki? Mm -hmm. A few no. years back, he came to a Jincho. 
He made this bold claim that Bleach Japan, the MPO, would build shelters. Said that girls who work in places like this, and their families, could live there free of charge and get job training. Sounded like a brilliant idea. Now that's real philanthropy, I thought. He even told me I could be the dorm mother. So I was near ready to sell this place off. Why is this place still standing? Because that shelter was a bald-faced lie. Ryo Aoki's true objective was to gain popularity and gather votes by wiping out the Grey Zones and everyone in it. I made my girls go to a shelter, but it ended up being a mousetrap. <laughs> Lion's Lair, actually. Now they were all arrested and deported. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. The ones working here now are all new. That happened in the last one. The kind of girls who come work for me don't even have family back home. Mm -hmm. That's why they stay here in the jean show. I was duped all because I was careless. Now I have no idea how any of those poor souls are doing. I see. Sorry to hear it. But it sounds like you had no way of knowing that happened. But the thing is, I should have known. Ichiban and them saw right through Rio Aoki. They even had their suspicions about the shelter. Now they tried to warn me, but I still went and got myself fooled. Oh, I even yelled at Ichiban, telling him not to doubt Aoki's good intentions. You're not the one at fault, Hamako-san. It's Rio Aoki. I know that, sure. But... <laughs> but... But what? Never got to apologize to Ichiban for yelling at him. Green tea she's drinking. <laughs> Green tea. Now it's been years since, so I completely botched the timing. And knowing him, he might not even remember that one minor detail. So I wondered, maybe I don't need to apologize. I never stopped wondering since. Is that why you decided to confide in me? So I could be your messenger? <laughs> Come on. I'm not that shameless. Nah, I just... I just wanted someone to hear me out, I guess. But there's no way I could tell Namba or Saiko. Nah, I don't need them seeing me weak and vulnerable. And you thought I'd be a good confidant? Well, Ichiban respects you, doesn't he? And you were with him until recently. Anyway, did he say anything about me while you two were off in Hawaii? No. He might have said it doesn't matter. Sorry for someone hearing this. Maybe he did, but I don't recall. I'm gonna say he might have said he doesn't matter. I mean, I don't think he did, did he? I don't recall them having a conversation about her. Did they have one? I'll say this. I think he might have told me he's over it now or something. <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on the spot there. Yeah, I take it he never mentioned me, did he? The... And again, why would he? I didn't even know Ichiban was overseas. I highly doubt he holds it against you. He's not the kind of guy who'd bear a grudge. Sorry for taking up your time on my petty little issues. I feel bad. Don't worry about it. We all have those nagging doubts in our heads. You're not alone on that. Even if you want to forget, you can't. Because you never got the closure you needed. Closure? Hmm. <laughs> When you get to be my age, you're always going to have unfinished business. Right. I feel the same way. But recently, some things came up in my life that got me thinking. Tying up all those loose ends made me realize that. Getting closure is for the better. You ought to live and let live, and no one lives without regrets. Uh... Hmm. No one can live life without having a single regret. That's impossible. But you can take matters into your own hands and try to make the best of what life dealt you. So you're saying I ought to apologize to Ichiban? Well, what if he says, I don't remember anything like that and laughs in my face for bringing it up now? If he finds out that it's been eating at you for a long time, there's no way he'd laugh. That's just how he is. Hmm. I promise you that. I think I get why you've got Saiko and Sun He waiting on you hand and foot. They're doing what? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really have to put it that way? I burning. <laughs> well, at any rate, 
I do feel better after talking to you, Suzuki-san. Now I'm actually looking forward to the next time I see Ichiban. That's so. Ah, my eyes burning. What the hell's going on? Also, the tea was delicious. I should get going now. Green tea. I wonder what it tastes like. I've had green tea, but usually it's very bitter. Don't tell anyone about this. You hear? After all, I'm supposed to be some hardened old ghost. I can't have them think I've gone soft. Don't worry. I can keep a secret. Thanks for the tea. And take care. Uh... I'm being asked to ever have Belgian waffles. Yes, Belgian waffles are delicious. They're f more fluffy, thicker, and sweeter Taichi than a standard Suzuki, waffle. Was it? <laughs> Whoever he was, must be a great man. Hmm. So we got a couple soul level upgrades for our answers. I don't know if those were the optimal answers or if there even is an optimal answer. But there you go. <clears throat> so not only will you have those reminiscing moments like in the street, but you will also have these that are like actual cutscenes with choices. That's interesting. Uh, I received my first tip of the night. A $5 tip from Miko Miconium. Thank you, Miconium, for the first tip of the night. $5. I appreciate that. Let's get you up on the leaderboard. Oops. Oops. There we go. Thank you. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. All right. And Hamako, or Hamako, has been added as a guest of Dundoko Island. Oh, I'm probably never going to do that, but okay. <laughs> All right, so that's done. And if you go across the street here, we have one more conversation and another one of these fights quick. And then I think what we'll do is we'll head to the story and try to advance it to see what this next side content thing is. Since we're unlocking so much right now. I've got some more fight in me. There we go. Uh, I need to get back to my boxing gym. You take boxing classes? Yeah. It was originally just part of my diet routine. But it's really a lot of fun and a great stress reliever. My trainer thinks I've got a knack for it, too. Hey, that's great. Yeah, I'll back you up if you're ever Shit. in a tight spot. You know, the old one-two. Good to know. I could definitely use it. All right. Cool. Fight this, and we have another fight in the corner, and then we can go to the story. Low lights. You're going to regret I, the best thing she has is scattering of flowers. It's so good. How do you like this? Look at that, it's so effing good. And they're level 33 too. Oh, right in the back. Bump it up, bump it up. Huh, Hajime no Ippo is a popular boxing manga, manga and anime. I thought that's why I said Hajime no Sayako, but I didn't know the exact name of it, but it sounded familiar. Rank up for Desperado. Level up, rank up, and she learned Love Drunk Typhoon. Holy, she learned some better abilities. Right now, these aren't very good, I don't think. Honestly. There we go. Step in. Rescue. Yeah. Bring it on. Let's do it. Hmm. Try to block this. How do you like this? Yeah. Yeah. Get out of Allow me. Wanna Nothing personal. Need a light? Oof! So nice. Get him, Nambo. Bomb. Here we go. Can't hit him into uh, somebody else. I don't want to waste any MP. Uh, just fight it. Break it anyway. Break an entry man. I'm on a roll. Let me bounce off the car. No, he didn't bounce off the car, but he got shot on the ground anyway. Derek, I missed what you said was on your bucket. I was playing the game. Okay, level that up. All right, so if we go this way, we'll do this one here, and then we'll go to the story. Okay. Derek, I think you're a little old, young to be having a bucket list, I'm just saying. You're pretty darn young to be having a bucket list. Uh, most people don't have bucket lists until they're like middle age. Or there's a, a, a bond between an hour, like, you know, 
Dual nukes or something. Just yeah, saying. Need a light? Oh! Oh, I didn't hit two of them? Yeah. Come on. Yo, Flash. eating takoyaki is on your bucket list? Takoyaki's pretty good. I think you'll like it. Just be careful. Like, I'm not even kidding. What they said in the in their little conversation about being too hot is actually a very fair warning. Takoyaki is really hot on the inside. If you eat it, it, it just goes right on your tongue and burns your whole tongue. And that happened to me before. That's good advice to be careful when you eat takoyaki. Up here? Uh, no. They're underneath. You damn bullies! Stop bullying all the people. Yes, bucket list is supposed to be. Do you even do you even know what that means, Derek? A bucket list means basically you're going to kick the bucket. Like you're probably going to pass away. So because you're going to pass away, you have a list of things that you want to do before you die. That's what a bucket list is. <laughs> nice, I hit three of them. That was cool. I won't hold that. You want them? Man, of course they're all too far away. Alright. We do this the hard way. Boosh! Instant kill. Yeah. Want some? What an eye score. Wonder if I can hit them both. Mm -hmm. I think so. You know, you're just a hungry homeless guy and you're burning him alive. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> All he wants is some food. Wait a minute, he's doing it to me? Get revenge right now. In the ass. <laughs> Shoots him in the ass. Damn. Part-time paladin. Got 10 of them done. I think I got a bonus for that. Okay, so now let's do the story. So we just have to head east down this road here. To the story. And unlock that with Date. See what this new content is with Date. And go from there. So, by the way, guys, I put a noise. Uh, let's see what it's called. I put tonight something called a noise suppression filter on my microphone. I don't know if it's actually working or not properly. Because uh, I never used anything like that before. I don't know if my microphone sounds any better. Because people were complaining yesterday, or earlier today, actually. Like, I, I cleared my throat. And the microphone got really loud. And people were upset that it got so loud. <laughs> I guess for headphone users. So, <clears throat> I'm hoping... That this helps with that. It's supposed to suppress the loud noises of it or whatever. There's also something called a noise gate and something else that I can use too. But I have to research how to use them because they have all these like decibel levels and things. And I don't actually know what decibel level I'm supposed to be using. So I didn't want to turn those on until I, I researched them further. Okay. This is the place Date-san told me to find him. Okay. <laughs> Sacha, do you do events for Christmas and Halloween at your place? Of course. Those are some of our most lucrative nights. <laughs> Even the staff likes them. Stop blocking this briefcase. Well, they get into it, huh? I guess dressing up like Santa is always fun. Back at Sunflower, I'd have to dress up as Santa for the younger kids. Uh -huh. I guess that was kind of like cosplay. Oh, I would have loved to see you in a Santa outfit, Kiryu-san. Talk to her in a second. Are there any photos? I remember someone taking pictures, but they're long gone by now. Hmm. The hell? You getting a phone call? It's me. I've got an operation for you. Mm-hmm. Locate and procure. Sunhi, please don't be calling a Comey Jewel agent. Nice. That's good. You want more? Oh, God, it's the stupid Hong Kong woman. That's who that was. I didn't realize who that was. I thought it was someone you, you talked to. You get something for, like, uh, Dondoko or something. Okay. What I need is the, the EQ, the top end frequencies out, and soften the bass tones. Yeah, I have no idea how to do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Took you long enough. Much obliged. We've got it from here. Going over to that table. Very good, sir. Please enjoy yourselves. 
Ugh, karaoke. Not karaoke. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, well, cabaret what are you shit? doing here exactly? Exactly. What are we doing here? I appreciate you coming down here, Kiryu. You won't regret it, I think. I'll trust you on that. Two old creep men. Whose table was that just now? Paying for the by attention the way? of women. Do you two Ray. know each other? You were drinking together. Uh, I'd introduce you to the guy, but the Daidoji faction wouldn't be happy with me. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Kid's name is Taichi. The boy you raised at Morning Glory. What? That Taichi. Really? What? Don't start gawking at him. <laughs> he hasn't clocked you either, it would seem. Hmm. So he's a young adult. Yeah. Uh, hey, don't order another yet. I need a second. Any more and I'll pass out on my way home. It's all right, handsome. What, I'll watch over you until the morning. Oh, really? You do that? It looks like he's a it's sucker now. An offer I'd make to just anyone, Tai Chan. But I feel safe with what you. What a sucker. <sighs> That's really great. Yokohama girls are the best. Kiryu, you failed. You didn't teach fair, this man about uh, the ways of Japan. Back in Okinawa, he works as a fireman. I can't believe it. That's Taichi. What's he doing here? I heard he was visiting a friend in Tokyo, so I rang him up. Offered to take him around Yokohama. Not like I was ever that close to the boy. Couldn't think of any better place to go than here. <laughs> Jinsho women sure can work wonders on men like him. <laughs> Doubt he even noticed I left. And I was probably broke. <laughs> What's the meaning of all this, Date-san? He's supposed to think I'm dead. Why would you invite me somewhere he could spot me? Because if he doesn't realize who he's looking at, there's no problem. Hmm? That's why you and I are keeping our distance. Much as I'd like it, I know you can't speak directly. Hmm. I still thought seeing him like this would be better than never seeing him at all. <sighs> Date-san. <laughs> You've always been too stubborn to look backward. Tell me, how does it feel? Would dying have been easier without this memory? Don't your kids warrant a spot on your list? I see. He's going to look up all the kids to see how they're doing now. Right? That's what it is. So that's what these side quests are, to see how all the kids are doing from the from the orphanage. I, I'd heard about him becoming a firefighter, you know. I, I still keep tabs on all of them, but... I never planned on seeing them again. I couldn't even risk hoping to. Hmm. That's why we're here. Hmm. This is my unfinished business. You've gone through life telling yourself you have no regrets. It's not true. You just refuse to acknowledge them. And if there's anyone still breathing in this world who could convince you of that, I suppose it's me. Date-san. <sighs> I know. When the Daidoji helped you fabricate your death, I went along with it. And it cost you everything. Haruka, Haruto. A life cut off from the people you love. I replay those events over and over in my head. Hmm. Wondering if I could have changed the outcome. It was my responsibility. My death was the only thing that could have ensured their safety. Date-san, you have nothing to blame yourself for. Either way, that was a long time ago. Maybe now I could make a difference? Maybe? Mm hmm? Hold on. Who are they? What the heck? Oh. I'm not sure, actually. What's going on? Hey, why are all the girls hanging out here? Send some to our table. Very sorry, sir. We'll address this at once. You'd better. We're paying customers too, ain't we? <laughs> I apologize, everyone. I didn't know I'd be so popular in here. That's because Taichan is the cutest. I won't drink with anyone What the else. heck? You mean it? Piss off, you dumb fucking tourist. You really think you're hot shit? Damn it. Might have tipped those girls too well. Wanted Tai Chi to have a good time, you know. This is dangerous. Everyone's too drunk. This doesn't even make sense because if he tipped the girl like, like a ton, right? She's already got the tip. So she would be like, oh, okay, I'll move on to the next guy to get more money. She wouldn't be like, 
all over him because he didn't even tip Date did, right? So this kind of doesn't make sense. Hey, you're being very impolite, aren't you? Calm down and someone will join you soon. Excuse me? I don't take lip from working girls. Uh, 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 uh. What the hell? You can't do that. Never hit a woman. Hey, don't be a fool. As long as Tai Chi's there, you can't intervene. Uh, uh. <sighs> All night's ruined now. I'm gonna discipline this. Oh, uh, why is there no staff to stop this? There's no security. There's no one to stop these guys. Uh. No. Huh? That's enough. You make me sick. Oh shit. Well? Daichan! You, you're dirt punk. You want to discipline her, huh? Learn some discipline yourself. Huh. Well, I'll be. Who would have thought Tai Chi had it in? He's full of surprises. Not so fucking fast. Oh, sucker punch. What a piece hey, of shit. Shifted. Nobody likes a guy who hogs the tits. Ah, Titan, are you okay? Please get up. They sucker punched him. <laughs> Excuse me, that's quite enough. Leave it once or I'll call the police. Shut your mouth. This is your fault, scumbag. What the hell? You're gonna fuck attack the coach, the, the right owner now. of the club too. I'll pay you back for Tai Chi ten times over. <laughs> Oh no, he blew it. Uncle. Is it really you, Uncle Cos? He blew it. Uncle. Oh, he passed out, so now he'll say, oh, it wasn't really it's him. Not for me. Everybody has a death wish tonight. Whole world's been shitting on me. Now, I'm gonna shit on all of you. There's a whole lot of shitting going on. It's a regular fecal bonanza. I don't know why we went outside. <laughs> it's my turn. All right. I killed them all except one. Just go ahead and just beat the shit out of this guy. Oh my god, look at the damage. Right. Bomb. Done. That was easy. Oh, all the damn luck. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to go like this. Now look what you did. Will it be all right? Hmm? No, he's dead. Oh, um, well, sleeping like a baby. He's more drunk than he is hurt. Maybe we overdid it a little. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. Sir? He's going to make a great firefighter. <laughs> Boy's in good shape. Unless the unless the fire sucker punches him. He's a grown man. <laughs> tai Chi's gonna wake up before too long. You should leave. We'll catch up. I'll stay behind and try to clean up this mess. Thanks. Uncle Cos. Hey, rise and shine, kid. What a night. Oh, um, I'm real sorry. I, uh, I remember there was a fight. Somebody came and defended me. Somebody? <laughs> you mean was Kiryu here? Yes, he was. Joking. You were calling out for him, Tai Chi. Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz, you said. Uh, really? Weird. I guess I was dreaming. The good news is you held your own. Protecting that girl of yours. Uh, she's just an employee. Uh, not every man is the sort who'd do that, you know. Even if they wanted to. Actually, that's my trick when I need to be brave. I think about what Uncle Kiryu would do. When I remember the way he was, it's like... I can shut down any fear inside me. You don't say. That's a pretty clever technique. Should give it a try myself. Yeah, sure. It always works for me. This place good? Kanagawa PD contact recommended it to me. Order one drink, sit as long as you like. From now on, consider this my Ijinsho hideout. 
Hmm. So you mean... Think I'll stay around town for a bit? You know, stay on top of that bucket list of yours? Taiji's little night out was only the start of it. I've got calls going out all over Yokohama. Stop. You realize that if the Daidoji faction catches on, we'll both pay. <laughs> they haven't objected yet, have they? Not even Taichi knows you're still out there. Trust me, the fearsome Daidoji faction has nothing to worry about. You're testing them. Look, I realize I'm taking a risk here. But when it comes to your final days, I don't care. Nothing you say is going to stop me. If Daidoji has a problem, they know where I am. <laughs> so then, Taichi stir anything in you? Do you regret what happened tonight? Because I saw your face just before you left. The way you looked at that proud young man. You have ties to this world. They don't disappear when you turn your back. <laughs> You're not wrong. Dragons don't have the luxury of dying forgotten. Taichi remembers you. People remember you. Kazumu Kiryu never walked the easiest path, but the steps he took always bore fruit. You have the responsibility to reap the harvest you've sown. I've never been more certain. I'll call you again. Kasuga and all that is important, but take some time for yourself, too. Date-san. Thank you. I don't have the words. I'll never forget what you're doing for me, Taichi and the others. I thought maybe I'd been able to let go, that even if I never saw them again, I'd be fine. But when I heard his voice with my own ears, when he was right there in front of me, who knew I'd be so happy? I certainly didn't. That's more than you need to say. Now I've got quite some work to do. Yeah, he's probably going to have a ton of these investigations now to find out what happened to all the people. Yeah, look. There's a lot of them. There's ten, and that was the first one. Yup. <clears throat> okay. As Kiryu raises his awakening level, he will trigger life links with Date and his other old friends. Life links can be initiated by speaking with da to Date at the Harbor Light in Ajincho's bar district after Kiryu receives a phone call. Awaken the dragon within and see things through to the end. Okay. Now Taichi is a guest at Dondoko Island. Huh. Interesting. Sorry for the wait. All good. Did you get to chat with your friend? Yeah, our talk made me realize something important, actually. Oh, yeah? Glad to hear. Anyway, where to next? Oh, now he's getting a phone call. Huh? So, Cosmic Kiryu, the legendary dragon, to think you'd return to Restaurant Row. I'm expecting you come alone. What? Who messaged me? Something the matter? There's somewhere I need to be. Mind tagging along? So now we gotta go to Restaurant Row and see who this is. <laughs> like, where's Restaurant Row? Way on the other end. Ugh. Alright, here's what we should do. Let's head north. We'll do this one right here. Okay? Then, we'll head east, and we'll do all these along this walkway. Everything that we run into. And then we'll go south and see what this is. Okay? It's crazy the amount of stuff that we're unlocking. It's just, like, endless amount of content at this point. It's like, jeez. A wild amount of stuff going on. Oh, you know what we should do? Eat. Bar Rodriguez. Boom. Let's dig in. Any conversations here? Oh, Real mail. I guess not. Oh, yes! You can never go wrong with chilled tomatoes. Simple and delicious. Right? If you think these are good, I know where we can get some even better ones. Uh, really? Oh? Where's that? Hi, that'd be none other than my very own garden. Oh, right. You oh. said Adachi-san was teaching you how to garden. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you grow tomatoes? Yeah. Homegrown's always the best, isn't it? You should have seen my war with the crows. <laughs> A war with crows? Don't tell me you solved it with your fists. Come on, what do you take me for? I hung up CDs and stuff. The movement and the flashing freaks the little bastards out. 
Does that sort of thing really work? <laughs> Actually, not at all. At least not for me. In fact, it seemed to encourage him. Jeez. So what'd you do about it? I tried a bunch of things. But what really sent them packing was wrenching the curtains open and glaring at <laughs> What? <them>. You just <laughs> stared at the birds? <laughs> yeah. Just opened the curtains and stared. In stone cold silence. All right. Yikes. Oh, how creepy. I'd stop coming around too if I were a crow. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I'll do anything for my delicious tomatoes. Well, if I ever find myself battling crows in my own garden, I know who to call. Right on. Just say the word. I bet if Home Improvement <laughs> Store sold posters of Namba glaring, <laughs> that'd sound like hot <laughs> Uh, well, we leveled up. 47 we're getting there remember we got to get to 50 then we get chef the chef job for namba which is my goal because that was in the first game and i really like that for him <laughs> so we're getting there all right out the out the door out the door we got stuff to do tonight out the door <laughs> okay here we go remember this survive it's a great bar but it doesn't hold a candle to serena I let loose a little too much last time, and I sang like crazy. To, I ought to thank Namba and the others for hanging out with me. But, that said, karaoke really is a mysterious thing. It's nothing like working up a sweat from fighting or hitting the bad cages. Sure, you still feel exhausted, but in a pleasant way. What's really fascinating is how you might even catch a glimpse of someone's true colors, depending on what song that they chose to sing. That's... Oh, right. Nostalgia. I was the only person singing back then. I'll have to listen to everyone else's picks next time. To, there we go. We're getting there. Okay. So like I said, let's head out to the main road and there's a bunch out there. Do a couple more fights then do more eating. Keep trying to level up Nampa's friendship level to 50. It'd be great if we could do it by the end of the night. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to though. I really want that chef class. I know how good it is. Uh, we're right here. This guy's blocking it. Hey there, stranger. Mm -hmm. Huh? Me? Yup. If you got money on you, I'll run a couple games here. Games? Are you selling a card? Sh some kind of card shark? Just a humble gambler. Koi Koi and Oi Chikabo, as you please. Consider yourself welcomed. You never knew you might walk away a little richer. Didn't exactly expect a gambling den in a place uh. like this, but it could be entertaining. Happy to hear it. Just go down the ladder, and whenever you're in the mood, if you don't want me asking, why did you say I'm welcome? Are you inviting anyone who passes by? Actually, I keep a very tight list of clientele. It's just you remind me of a kid I once knew when I was running games out of West Park in Camarocho. <laughs> Imagine that. Sometimes that's all it takes. Good luck to you, stranger. <clears throat> so if we go down here, it says there's a memory. Or not. It showed a memory. But I think I'm drunk. <laughs> I don't get it. What the fuck? Look at this. Save? I'm being told to save? Why? What's gonna happen? Something's gonna happen here? Oh, okay, here's the rem reminiscing. Huh, I had no idea there was a gambling den here. Oddly enough, gambling dens always remind me of Haruka. She had a gambler's instinct, one that's strangely good at that. Her predictions were always right on the money. After listening to her, I ended up winning too much and a huge fight broke out. These memories never fail to make yesterday. me smile nowadays. I feel a bit sorry for those gamblers, though. To Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna gamble. Ooh. What a place to gamble. In the fucking sewer, right? It's like, what the hell? If I lose... Whoa, chatty. If I lose today, I'll win all back tomorrow. If I lose again tomorrow, I'll win it back the next day. It's a foolproof plan. Right. Right. That's what they all say. All right. Well, we did get it. It was hidden down there. I'm not even going to ask why the, the water's that color or why we risk walking through it with our nice shoes. Uh, Derek, me too. Of course, I'm looking forward to more heavy rain tomorrow. Wait, this is going to be a, a... This is going to be a major mission, isn't it? I kind of don't want to do that. I just want to do these quick ones along the way. Yeah, I'm not going to do that one because it looks like it's going to be too time consuming. I want to do more quicker ones. Bedtime routine. Gotta say, I haven't been sleeping too well lately. 
Takes me forever to fall asleep, too. Maybe there's a good sleep medication around here? Nah, before you chance it with the meds, you ought to rethink your bedtime routines. Yeah, probably toy around with your phone, right? Yeah, that's true. I usually end up watching videos and stuff. Maybe just stop looking at your phone in bed. Uh, yeah. The light from the screen causes your brain to... Oh, fuck. If you get sleepy and lose your grip, you'll drop your phone on your face. You'll just wake yourself up, and who wants that? Well, I, I was talking more about the science and what have you, but... Oh, well. I guess the result's the same. The... Okay. And we got this here. I notice it's been pretty sunny over here. Maybe because of all the rain back in Hawaii. I actually really like the rain. Oh, is that right? That's pretty rare. Well, to be more accurate, it's not the rain, but the umbrella. She's only I happy when it rains. Umbrella, so I think rainy days are great. I get what you mean. The rain can, can be nice now and again. I once owned a really fancy umbrella, but it was no match for the typhoon that day. Uh, Who goes out during a typhoon? Things are going well. She's only happy when it's complicated. And even though you won't appreciate it, she's only happy when it rains. Remember that song? Probably none of you. Yeah. That was a 90s song. This will be tough. In for the kill. There you go. How do you like this? Boom, boom. <laughs> Shoot him while he's down. And immediately. Went to yours. Fight. Oh, they moved. Shit. Ready for the knock. I'm gonna hit three of them. We all do that swing move again. The swing move's even more limited with the area of effect, though. Why is Nambo trying to be drunk so I can't control them? I see. When they're drunk, sometimes you can't control what they're doing. Nice. Very nice. Pawn. Did I grow up singing a little? I have a better chords than most people have heard in prison. Uh, I like singing, but I never really sang anything, you know, major. I was never in, like, a, a production or anything like that, if that's what you're asking. They're all drunk and they're all fighting by themselves. Look, they're all just fighting because they're drunk. <laughs> Alright, save them. Stuck! This is stuck on the stupid thing. Okay. Uh, okay, we got another one here. A reminisce here. And then there. A boss! Ooh. What the hell? What is that? Oh. That's just a weird combination. I'm sorry. It's a really weird combination of enemies. How do you like this? Boosh, boosh. Follow my lead. So where's the spin one? Essence of sweeping? No. Essence of high noon? No. Wild sweep. That's it. Nothing personal. You ain't going There we go. Hit them all. Look at that. Triple kill. Amazing. That does so much damage to the enemies around. What do you hit them with? I don't even know what he hit him with. He picked something up and just blocked him in the head. Really <laughs> Sniper leveling up. Good stuff. Another rescue. Okay. So we go this way now. Nope. We gotta go another street down. Oh wait, I'm about to do the boss. Let's do the boss. And then we'll do the nice thing. Yes, it's only happened when, when it rains by garbage. That is correct. What? It's great. The ruffians. You're going to regret this. Something wrong? Huh? Try to block this. Here's a reward. Hit all three? Didn't paralyze any of them, though. That sucks. No begging for mercy now. Hmm. 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 Man. Get near the other ones. What a dick. He's not getting near the other ones. Boom. Kill two. I won't hold back. Might do that wild sweep again if I can get it to hit enough, but yeah. 
See, I don't know if it's gonna hit. I'm gonna try, but watch, it's probably gonna miss. Let's see. It hit, it hit, one. it hit at least one. Oh, it killed him. That was good. Oh, it did hit him. Finish him. Darn it. Didn't die. An all BP blast. Oh. <laughs> he got me. Shadow clone jutsu. Oh, la, 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 la. Look at that. That was interesting. Follow my lead. Uh, this is the bowling in the ball. The bowl in the ball. Ready? Oh, we're in the nuts. Just take this guy out. There we go. Try and stop me. Check this out. This guy has a ton of health. Feel the meat. Disgusting. He literally wagged his knee and she got charmed. What the hell? I feel so heavy. <laughs> That's disgusting, man. Nice cure you follow up. Very good. Damn, it's gonna be a million HP. I won't hold that. Well, not much I can really do here at all. Just shoot him. Back in the game. No begging for mercy now. He's not weak to Pyro Prison. Uh, maybe Pigeon Storm, maybe? Maybe it'll make him, uh... Maybe it'll make him sick. Let's find out. Maybe it'll eat his meat. Eat his giant meat. Nah, uh, see? These guys are insane amounts of health. This will be tough. Very damage resistant, too. Uh-oh. Follow my lead. He do anything. Yeah, he's an armor, so we can't combo. And he doesn't have anything to break armor, does he? Nah, no, he doesn't. I feel so heavy. You wanna fight? I mean, I don't think I ever used this, did I? This is like nothing. Oh god! Oh no, look at that! She comboed with him. Wow. That's better. Alright. Wow, 1.3 million. We got a champion saber. I wonder who can use that. There's more where this came Essence from. of Hell Hive. Ooh, that could be really good. It's the essence those essence attacks are the best ones, right? So what is that saber? Can anyone use that? No. She's not going to use it. I wonder who would use the saber. I wonder what class that'll be, but we don't have it yet. Nope. Uh. Let's have her heal. Okay. So we go this way, and we got another reminiscing. Oh, we should eat. There's a restaurant right here. We should totally eat. Oh, look what it is. This is where, um, in the last game, right? There was a side quest with this, I believe. It was either Judgment or the last game. That there was a side quest there. The girl was, uh, like, doing, like, raising money for her family or whatever, I think. What is this, chicken? This is... Oh, these are beef bowls. Japanese beef bowls. Look at all these beef bowls. Damn. Pork as well. There's the chicken karage. Beef, kar beef, all these different bowls. Oh, my God. Yo, this is the biggest menu of anywhere place we've gone so far. Oh man, let's, let's see. Dig in. Let's see in. Ah, no conversation here, huh? No conversation yeah, here. Dang. Was great. But we did level up. Right, we're at 49 with Namba. Wow, we're at 49. We only need one more, and we can become a chef with Namba, which I totally want to do. We're good. There's a doggo right there. It's so different from Kamurocho here. Yeah, this isn't Kamurocho, this is Yokohama, right? Yokohama's a bustling town in its own right, but it doesn't have the same glitz and glamour as Kamurocho. Have a good night, Derek. Come to think of it, the Snake Flower Triad also had a hideout here. I lived here with Haruka before we moved to Okinawa, too. 
Even though it's been a while since I last visited, this place is as amazing as I remember. I remember this. Still can't measure up against Kamarocho. Level 5 tech. Cool. So, that's the story right there, right? Man. We are so close. Can we go to Wet's Kitchen? And, and eat there and get into level 50 and make him a chef? Because I really want to make him a chef. We haven't been to Wet's Kitchen yet in this. All the burgers. Remember the burgers from Wet's Kitchen? Let's dig in. Real meal. Nice! You know, I love fast food. Because you can get a good meal almost straight away. <laughs> when hunger strikes, nothing beats it. Well, if your mind and stomach can spare the time, a sit-down place can be fun, too. Otherwise, every second feels like an eternity. Speaking of sit-down places, I was out at lunch the other day, and... Sonny, you go out to eat? <laughs> I have a social life, too, believe it or not. Yeah, that's fair. I just couldn't imagine it is all. Why? Sorry. She only eats on. at home? What does she eat? Anyway, there was one of those <laughs> spot the Jay, good evening. books next to the menu. I know they're for kids, but I was bored, so I opened it up. The puzzles were way harder than I thought. <laughs> I wanted to finish it so badly, I completely forgot to eat. By the time I finished solving them all, it was dark out. Oh, uh, what the hell? You're one of those customers, aren't you? Okay, so I overdid it. But the restaurant puts them there to keep you entertained, right? Every place should have that. Maybe. But if they only got customers like you, they probably wouldn't be in business too long, huh? Thankfully, I don't think there's too many of those. <laughs> we did it? No, you're kidding me! Did you see how close we are with Namba? So we have to do one more, I guess. Yeah, one I more meal somewhere. Right. No, we did it. We just did it. We hit Bond 50. All right. Thankfully, I think we can now... I think we want to go to... I just walked into glass, by the way. Out of the way. I want to go change his job right now. It it's taking so long. Here it is. Let's do it. Let's go become a chef, and let's see if we can upgrade his weapon, right, to something great. Celebratory t-shirt set added. We hope you can continue to enjoy Like a Dragon. When did I... When did I get that? I don't even know what... I guess it's just something they just added? No, I don't know about this. He can, wow, he can actually do every job. Look at this. So what, what haven't we seen? Him as a host? Him as a breaker we've seen. Him as the chef. We gotta have him be the chef again, right? He looks pretty funny as the Aquanaut, too, admittedly. Alright, let's make him be the chef. Ooh, I like the checkered outfit. Yeah, I like that. I'm probably gonna go to checker. I just wanna see what else they have. Nah. None of these fit a chef. Oh, look. Go for a victory. Legendary dragon. Hero of Yokohama. Oh, my God. A Sega Pixel shirt. That's dope. Yo, I really like the Sega Pixel shirt. These are all new, huh? I guess they just added them all for free. The man who erased his name. Gaiden TGS shirt. Infinite Wealth TGS shirt. These are sick. Yo, how many shirts did they add? They added like 20 shirts. All right, let's do, let's do this. Hey, this isn't bad. Okay. Eh, whatever works. Cool. Now we got to, of course, make sure that we has the right weapons. An important decision. So she can now be the housekeeper and the tennis ace and the night queen. The only one she can't do is geo dancer. That's thirty, and idol is at fifty. Okay. Psycho, I'm gonna keep his idol for a while, but we might eventually switch her over to something else. I don't know. We'll think about it. Okay. Um. All right. And then Todd here, he was doing good. Choose. I, I think his last ability is level 28 or 30. 30. Essence of the Raging Bull. So once he hits 30, then we'll we'll switch it up. Yeah, when he hits 30. So we're getting there. Maybe it's time I change style. I don't know what to turn him into though. A lot of a lot of options. A lot of interesting things. I don't know. Maybe a host. Turn him into a host. We'll do the spray attacks and everything. Or go back to Dragon of Dojima and so, cause he's gonna get the unique stuff, right? Okay. Skill inheritance. Did anyone get a new one? He did not. He doesn't have any. She didn't get one. She got one. Okay. Uh, what's her best ability from here? Shop dropper. 
Retail therapy causes her, en her enemy's physical uh, therapy high damage of a critical hit. High chance of a critical hit. Excuse me. You know what I should do? This, because she doesn't have any water attacks. So I should give her champagne splashdown. Yeah. That's exactly what I should do. So she'll have an elemental. Okay. All right. So now I want to go to the blacksmith. And see if we can level up this uh, chef, uh, the chef uh, weapon. Jay says, what did you miss? A lot. We went around. We unlocked up new, new kinds of side content tonight for uh, Kiryu. And we did a bunch of the links and stuff. So, you know, we're doing good. Nambo. He has a professional's whisk. I wonder if we can upgrade that. That's the best we've got. The professional's whisk. I think we had seen that we could have actually had something else, too. A better one from a store, I think. We'd have to, uh... Oh, Maximum Mittens. Oh, I thought that was the one that leveled him up more, but it's not. We don't have one for Chef. No, we do not. Darn! I was hoping we would have a, bu a buff for Chef, but we do not. Well, if that's the case, I'll probably do... The Kiwami Mouth Guard for now. Okay. We upgrade the whisk. We need... Okay, if we want level 5, we need a food grater. Shit, where the hell do we get that? Or we need a stainless ladle. Damn, we don't have either of the good ones. We can... Oh, we could upgrade the whisk. We could... If we have f five more geodes, it becomes an electric whisk. But it's not that good, right? Damn, where do we get these? Right? That's the question. Where do we get these? Hmm. Well, that's what we got for now. I guess we gotta we gotta keep looking, right? Nice. All right. Well. We only have a few more minutes left for tonight, so we probably don't have enough time to really do the next story mission. Uh, what we should do, maybe fast travel and just do a few quick fights around somewhere. We haven't done anything in the northern area at all, and there's a ton of shit up here. See? Look at all these fights. Let's do that. Let's do this taxi stand. Just do a few quick things. The next story mission will unlock Kiryu's best skill. Sounds like what we will be doing on Tuesday night when we play this again. A reminiscing spot. Sunlight Castle. I believe this is a retirement home. Did I see Zilla yet? Says Jade. No, not in the game. <laughs> Castles, huh? I've seen the castle split into two vertically, but who the hell would believe me if I told them that? It did, really did happen, I swear it did. On top of that, another castle popped out of the crack of the first ah, one. That takes Maybe I should visit back. that castle again sometime to prove I didn't dream the whole thing up. Wonder which one that was from. I don't remember that. I don't remember that happening. Oh, Brawler just hit level five. Let's do a few quick fights. And then we'll call in a night. go. I'm gonna try some of these chef skills. This one's got armor. Oh, here's the new one. S isn't hell high. It's like massive damage to a line of enemies with a chance to poison or paralyze. Okay, let's try this. Essence of hell high. Let's see what this looks like. She's doing the jutsu. She's doing the Naruto jutsu. Hell high. Oh, God. A killer wasp army. <laughs> oh, my God. He looks into the sky. Uh, it paralyzed a couple of them, so that's not bad. I feel like it should have done more damage. I don't know. It didn't seem like it did a lot of damage.
Guard break? Does this guard break? It does. Nothing personal. You ain't going nowhere. I didn't realize this guard break. Well, now we know. Anything with the lasso guard breaks. Hold you. Try and stop on some. There you go. Champagne splash down. Got one. And she follows up with a kick. Now we're talking. All right, what do we have? We have medium well, pe sashimi slice, flattening pan, or pepper mill blow. Watch this. Smash him with the pepper mill, and then ah, give him some pepper in the eyes. He got blinded. Nice. What's the hold up? You're weak. You're going to regret this. What you got? What you get there? You picked something up and beat him with it. I don't know what it was. Very good. Damn, that's a lot of levels right there. Boom, 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 boom. Learning more every day. Hell yeah. He learns wound opener. Cool. There's another one right across the street we might as well do. Like I said, we'll do one or two of these and then we'll call it a night. And then we'll resume next time with more. Definitely chapter eight is similar to chapter six. It's one of the long chapters with a lot of content. But then some of these chapters are very, very short. With story, so. Think I'll enjoy this. You're going to regret this. Get Try to block this. How do you like this? These are level 34s. These guys are higher level. I won't hold back. Oh, let's do double twister. Ready for the knockout. Is this where he just spins? Ready. Look at this. That's pretty good too. Now Wound opener. Now you're gonna get shot. These are all single. Oh, line of enemies. Here we go. What's the hold up? Watch this. Hope this hurts. Nice! He's got the torch. He's singeing the meat. Searing, excuse me, he's searing the meat. Like that. I'm on a roll. Let's go. Proximity bonus, and he's weak to this? He didn't die, though. He did die, he was burning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You picked the wrong opponent. Here we go again, rank up. Moving up in the world. Alright. Cool. Very cool. Now body is at level five. Oh, uh, should we keep going this way? Yeah, let's go. keep going this way. We'll do one or two more fights. Uh, by the way, wow. Last minute here. In the last uh, few minutes of the stream, I received an anonymous $50 tip. All right. Cool. So he says, uh, this person says, I'm enjoying the game a lot. Remember to use your positioning in battle. You'll get better damage. Don't always use skills. Sometimes normal attacks as well. And uh, also remember the the drink links and uh, and possibly the date side mission. All right, that's a lot to remember. Thank you, a fifty dollar anonymous tip. Whoever that was, thank you very very much. And uh, that gets us uh, gunner glasses for like the last five ten minutes of the stream here. So do a couple more quick fights. Awesome. Okay. Oops. Oops. Here we go. Okay. Let's just do these fights that are straight ahead over here. Right? This way? Oh, these are pink. Maybe I can't do these. Do you think these are... Oh, yeah. These are too hard. We can't do these. We gotta, run. We gotta go back down this way instead. We haven't leveled up. Alright, we'll do these over here. There's one or, one or two things over here. Darn. Too hard level. Can you throw them in the trap? No, you can knock them into the cars. You can actually hit them and force them to, like, bounce or roll off of the vehicles and they do extra damage if you do that. <clears throat> Is there a reason to go in here? Yeah, I peach step that I'm probably never gonna use. Amazing. I'm stuck. Ah! Probably never gonna use that. I haven't used one yet. Alright, this way. 
Is this a vendor? This is the vendor you have to buy items at, though, right? Yeah. It's not like, uh, you can just eat food there. Alright, here we go. Now we got such a variety of jobs, seriously. I just can't stop using scattering flowers, it's too good. It's, it's seriously one of the best in the game. I missed the button, but how the hell did I miss it? I suck. Man, they're all separate. They're all completely separate. Namba! Oh, he didn't hit him. Oh, that was cool looking. I like that. What the hell? This guy's just glitched. Yeah. Push him up. Look, push him. <laughs> Come on, push him. Oh, shit. You're going to regret this. Group slitter. Executed from behind. Nice. Stun gun. Oh, right in the nuts. I won't take that. So much for him. Damn, he's hard to hit, huh? Watch this. Hope this hurts. Ooh, dodge there. Combo. Well, oh, I didn't even need the combo. Saucer discus. Cool. He's gonna throw a a plate. <laughs> nice. We got a conversation here. We're almost done for the night, guys. Just so you guys know, only a few more minutes here. Huh, a message from my marketplace app. Guess the bidder wants me to lower the price. What are they trying to haggle? Yeah, it's nothing I'll miss, so I can lower it to... Wait, they want half off? <laughs> In their dreams. You gonna turn them down? Yeah, I'll be losing money with the shipping costs. Uh, ah, maybe you can buy it, Kiryu-san. Jade, it's all good. I'll do half off for you, no problem. Yeah? And what would I be buying? It's a facial toning device. Right. All right. <laughs> Okay, reminisce. I can't put my finger on what is it is exactly, but this building doesn't seem very Japanese to me. Looks more like something I'd see overseas instead. Yumi would probably like this sort of thing, though. One time she said that the best place to hold a wedding ceremony would be Hawaii. If only I could have made it that happen for her. Hanawa must have pulled some strings and sent me on a mission to Hawaii out of concern, but I should be grateful. Thanks to him, I finally got some of the closure that I needed. By bringing her ring with me, I felt like I was taking her to the place she'd always dreamed of myself. I wonder if she'd be shocked by how foolish this I've been or back maybe she's pleased. At least I would hope so. Well, that was the end of uh, Like a Dragon Gaiden, what that he just referenced. That's literally the ending of, the, of that game. And that's his reason why he first goes to uh, Hawaii. Uh, quick, let's fast travel over here. And we'll do one or two more things and that's it. There's a reminiscing in, oh, at the door of the batting center. The batting cages, huh? No better feeling than hitting a home run. I used to play ball at the Sandlot back in Onomichi. I even put together a whole team of folks from the bar. Hitting a homer in a big open field was even more exhilarating than in the batting cages. It'd be nice Ooh, if I got to play yesterday. baseball with everyone again. Yeah, we almost like maxed this one. We're at 14. Okay. Uh, it looks like there might be a sporting vendor. Ah, I probably don't need anything there, though. Sport, sporting goods. No one's a sports person right now. Sports job. I won a cute pair of sneakers from a sweepstakes the other day. Miraculously, they were just my size. <laughs> I guess you really can win those, huh? Size 47. I too, but Giant I floppers. think I might have used up all my luck. I'm always wearing high heels, though, so sneakers will be a nice change of pace. Huh. Never thought about that. We found. Oh, it genuinely feels like you can walk just about anywhere. Well, I do wear a lot of dress shoes. 
Maybe I should make the change too. Yes. Yeah. You should. Let's all get some sneakers and go out for a stroll sometime. The sneaks are so comfy. You'll want to walk from Hokkaido all the way down to Okinawa. If the shoes even make it out of Hokkaido, that is. Things are going well. Our bond's getting deeper. There we go. Anything good here? Hopefully. Should I open it? Nice. We've got a motivational headband. Helps drive away drowsiness. Eh. Not good. Uh, Jade, I'm good. We're gonna do a boss fight and probably... After the boss fight, that'll be it. Don't bother me as much... People don't bother me as much about fishing as they used to. When I first started doing it, I got in loads of trouble. Save before we do this. Hopefully this is gonna be not so bad. And then, uh... Probably adjourn for the night. We gonna fight some more? None the Show me what you got. Ace Ruffin Sports Hooligans. It's my turn. Vicious Sports Hooligans. Something wrong? Oh, there's so many. Why can't she? She's stuck on these stairs. She is. Oh, we had three of them. One of them got paralyzed. No, the other guy got what? How did that guy not get hit? That's bullshit. Nothing personal. You work. I'm actually really starting to like this one. Oh, I didn't hit the other guy. I didn't hit the shade thrower. He's weak to the sashimi slice. Oh, let's try saucer discus. Have fun with this. Oh, I stepped back. Well, that ain't gonna work. Oh, I went to the background. No one's weak to smash step, no. Check this out. I missed. I missed the button in I missed that too, dang. I'm missing everything. Blister ball. Got that one. They're all separate now. Weak to Shadow Clone Jutsu, eh? Then take the Shadow Clone Jutsu attack! Nice! Dead. Beautiful. I won't hold back. I'm trying to see, like, what would be good on this. Uh, I'll try it. It's a Defy Noon. It might instantly kill him, right? It did! No, it didn't! Darn! <laughs> I was like, oh, it did! No, it didn't. Wound open. Let's try this. Oh, it shot him in the leg. He's bleeding now. It did open the room. Nice. He's silenced and bleeding profusely. Damn, they're comboing the shit out of Nambo. He's weak to it. Let's do it to him then. It's time to splash. Oh, yeah. He was already dead. This will be tough. I get with the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Zoop, 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 zoop. He missed completely. Beautiful. Follow my lead. Ready for the knockout. Oh, easy peasy. All right. Good stuff. I'm happy Nama's the chef again. Oh, wow. Good leveling, good money. That was a good one. <laughs> Doing better than moving up in the world. Hell yeah! <laughs> yes. She learns miraculous voice. Seems like another healing uh, spell. All right, there's an item here. I think this is where we will adjourn for the night, and when we play again in a few days, I think we're gonna play this Tuesday and Wednesday night this week. Um, we should be able to make better progress. So let's save. Great progress tonight, unlocking a bunch of stuff. And obviously what we'll do again is it'll be a mix of me doing the open world stuff as well as story elements. I'm glad we did some story elements tonight. Um, so good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for chilling with me. And I'm glad that those of you who are here to hang out for these streams to keep showing up. Uh, I realized that out of all the playthroughs I'm playing, these RPGs, I mean, I'm playing three RPGs. And yeah, 
the attendance is really bad on most of them because people are RPG'd out. I've been playing so many RPGs for months and months now. Uh, but I'm happy for those that are still digging the RPGs that you come hang out with me. Because I'm having a great time with this stuff. And I hope that you guys like uh, chilling. I love chilling with you. Okay? Okay. Um... <clears throat> Dark Gaming says, man, I thought for two streams you were going to unlock this certain area. You didn't do it yet, so it must be at the very tail end of this chapter. Yeah, I wouldn't know, but you might be right. All right, guys, thank you so much. See you next time for more Like a Dragon. Okay. All righty, everybody. So, I want to thank you all for a great stream. Remember, tomorrow is React Day. What that means is that I'll be doing React-style content all day long. We're going to start off on my very first stream with uh, the Level 1 Podcast here on DSP Gaming. Then we are going to head over to DSP Reacts for DSP versus the Internet. All right, and that should be fun. The weekly clip show. Always a good variety there. The late stream tomorrow night is over on DSP Throwback, and that's going to be more of the Heavy Rain uh, Retro React event. I've been doing those streams once a week on Sunday nights. They do really well, and uh, people seem to really enjoy it. So I hope you'll be back for more of that uh, tomorrow night. 